By now, most of you have used ChatGPT, yet what most people don't realize is that ChatGPT has a feature hidden in plain sight that you can leverage to get free, high-quality text-to-speech audio. If we type in a prompt, say something like this, after ChatGPT gives its response, if you look right here, notice the speaker icon. This is the feature that most people tend to overlook and how you can get creative with it. When you click the icon, ChatGPT will read its reply out loud. So how about we click on it just to take it for a test drive? This training course equips aspiring entrepreneurs with the essential knowledge and practical tools to successfully start and launch their company. Okay, sounds pretty decent. Going one step further, if you go up to the upper right-hand corner and click your profile icon, then choose Settings. Over here on the left, click Speech. If you click the drop arrow, ChatGPT gives you nine different voices to pick from. You can check those out on your own time to hear how they sound. Okay, getting back on point. Two drawbacks you face is you can't have ChatGPT read you the prompts you enter and you can't download the audio. Yet, we can get creative and leverage this text-to-speech feature to get free audio. If we work the system, here's how it's done. What you want to do is copy some text that you want ChatGPT to read aloud. And that can be anything. In this case, I'm going to use a transcript from one of the videos from this channel. All right, so before you paste your text, you want to type in the following prompt. Duplicate what I'm about to paste word for word. Then paste your text and press enter. Give ChatGPT a moment to do its thing. Then once it's completed, you can click on the speaker icon and have your content read back to you. All right, no problem there. So that leads to the next part, which is how do you record the audio because you can't download it? For that, you'll need to record your system audio. And in our case, we're going to use old recording faithful itself, Audacity. Yet any recording software will do. If you're unfamiliar with Audacity, it's a free recording and sound editing program. You'll want to open Audacity. And now it's just a matter of getting Audacity to record the audio playback from ChatGPT. There's only one little wrinkle in this whole process, which is getting Audacity to record the correct audio source. Put another way, by default, Audacity wants to record the sound from your microphone and we need to change the input source. By way of demonstration, if we click record right now, then play the audio from ChatGPT, it won't record because Audacity is looking for the audio from our microphone. So what we need to do is have Audacity record our system audio. To do that, you want to click on the audio setup button, then drift down here to recording device, and you want to look for any loopback options. Loopback allows you to record sound being played from your computer instead of recording the sound from your microphone. Be patient here. Every computer is different. You might see a few loopback options, so it may become trial and error until you get things to cooperate. As a side note, if things aren't working, you might have to go into the audio settings and change the host to a sappy. All right, after you get the appropriate loopback setting, you're ready to record your audio. And here's where things get a little funky again. When you click on the record button, it looks like nothing is happening. Oh no, now what? The reason for this is Audacity is looking for sound from your system and won't record anything until it detects audio from your computer. To make Audacity happy, jump back into ChatGPT and click the read aloud icon. You'll see the audio start to record. Once it's completed, click on the stop icon and save your file. How about we take a moment to play it back to make sure everything works. I recently ran a thumbnail test on YouTube that seemingly had a strange impact on the number of views a video was getting, and I'd love your help figuring out what happened. Now, the cool thing about using Audacity is you can take the audio track and edit it to make it sound better. For example, some options you might want to experiment with are using the equalizer. You can also click effect, pitch and tempo. If you go under change pitch, you can change if the voice is high or lower. If you go under change tempo, you can modify the pace of the audio. If you want to rearrange the audio, that's an option as well if you think it makes the script sound better. My only suggestion is to make a copy of your original. That way, if you modify anything, you always have a backup. Now, if you want to learn about how you can get better responses from ChatGPT, watch this.